did we ever decide what we were talking no. about? No. Discrimination in the cosplay community, because I can talk a lot about this. I've talked many times on Twitter about this. Yes. Because it's okay. something that comes up a lot in my experience as a cosplay. I do. It's different reasons, it's different obviously. Reasons. It's, that's why it's discrimination, yeah. not just racism. Not just racism. Because I don't have a lot of experience with people being racist towards me. No. I'm ambiguous enough that They don't like, know how to be racist to you. <laughs> Which do, do I call you? Call her? Like which? Because there are so many that could apply. <laughs> I mostly just have racism stuff. Yeah, most of mine is just people being bold online. I, I get so many comments. I've never, you've never told me that. I delete this. them immediately. Really? Pretty much on almost all of my cosplay so far, where the characters aren't aren't specifically black. black. Someone commented on Korra, and they were like, "Korra isn't black," and I was like, "Korra's from a place that doesn't exist." I also like, remember the person telling you Princess Alora <laughs> isn't black. Yes, I remember that. that one's my favorite. Princess That's Alora the only one I remember. From Voltron, who I shall put right here if I can. Over me? She? No, it's in the middle. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be up there twice because I did it twice. <laughs> it's funny because they tell me like I don't know. They're like <laughs> Connie isn't black, and I'm like, really? Connie Maheswarin uh, isn't black? <laughs> clearly Indian. Name. <laughs> You're telling me isn't black? <laughs> You're black. like, of course I knew, but you know who is black? Me. And you know who's putting the costume on? Me. So I don't know. I think it's just the fact that they're not looking at me face to face. You know who never gets flack? White people who cosplay anime characters. No one's ever up in their comments like, you know, this person's this actually Japanese. Japanese. No one does that. Like, nobody does always. that. I've gotten a few anons on Tumblr who Really? Do that, but mostly it's just like comments on my Instagram, but I like delete That's them immediately. wild to me. Obviously I know this happens, mm -hmm. but like hearing it, like somebody- Because they don't like bother me. It's yeah. just like annoying. Yeah, no, it's, it's like- I know. It's just an extra step you have to take out of your day yeah. to delete these comments. Just delete these comments. That's my discrimination story, <laughs> specifically in the cosplay community. Yeah, I mean, mine's different because, like, I'm a plus size cosplayer. Right? That is just a fact. I'm like a size 18, and like, I cosplay, and I don't get a lot of hate. Like, I don't get hate for it really, mostly because people never pay attention to my photos. It's fully that too. It's fully. I don't get. We the... can go into that when we talk about actual conventions. I will notice it a lot because, like, I'll be super proud of a costume because I had to learn how to sew to make all of my costumes because I don't have the luxury of buying your costume online because they don't make it for people my size. Specifically the one instance I know this happening was when we were at Supercon as Ruby mm -hmm. and you and Lindsay had all these men coming up to you <sighs> yeah, like hey can we get your picture and like they completely ignoring me. Mm. And it's like if they knew anything about our cosplays they would know that the three of us were together because we were yeah, yeah, but they were like in Ruby. Yeah, but they were only looking at you two because And you were, you were Ruby. And I was <laughs> the main character. <laughs> Having my two beautiful best friends get all this recognition from these people we don't know and me who like made your whole Who costume. I made my whole costume and whole Ruby most costume. of my costume. Yeah, I made my made. whole Ruby costume. I made part of your costume. I made part of Lindsay's costume. Like I feel like I don't get a lot of recognition because I'm a plus size cosplayer. I've been told before, oh, if you lost some weight, you'd be more popular. I'm like, but that's not the point. That's not the point. The point and is like, that you are a good cosplayer yeah. and you should get credit like, for it. And the point is, I make all of my own stuff. Yeah. And like, I really love doing it. And like, I'm not doing it for popularity. I am doing it because I truly, mm -hmm. genuinely love this crowd. Yeah, and it's not even really about like popularity. It's just like people, you just want yeah. people to acknowledge I just want, like, the recognition. work that you put in. And, like, At conventions, I get that too. Yeah. Because... I'm I'm just one of those people who when I enter a new environment I I check I don't not it's not really like an actively like I'm checking to see how many black people are in the room mm -hmm. but I notice yeah no because it, it's, it's something you have to be aware of it's like, like a I, comfort level thing yeah. and so yeah when I whenever I go to cons I look around and I see that there are very few black people especially fewer black cosplayers yeah and in a lot of cosplay groups and like just friend groups that I'm around, there aren't any other ones. Yeah. And it's a little uncomfortable. So it's like you'll, you'll be around these groups of other cosplayers who are like on the same level as you, but it's just you don't feel like you belong. Yeah. And it's you don't feel like you have anyone in the group that you can relate to on this level because like I'm the only black one there. Yeah. I can, I can talk about Lindsay here, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we already did. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll, be with, like, I'll be like standing with Lindsay, and like Lindsay's a very talented cosplayer, like 
Instagram user Instagram Fantom user Phantom Promise. Phantom Promise. <laughs> right here. She's very talented. She's very beautiful. She's tall. She's, she's beautiful. tall. She's, she's white. Beautiful. She's white. <laughs> Um, Which isn't a bad thing. No, it's not it's a bad just, thing. It's just, it's just a, like, that's it's... the formula for a popular cosplay. That is, yeah. <laughs> but like, if I'm standing with her and we're both together, like people want her picture, not us together. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> the struggles <laughs> of having a perfect friend. Because <laughs> cosplay is kind of just like a performance-based kind of thing. And anything where your appearance is kind of part of the package is so weirdly dictated by race. Mm -hmm. Well, I just... <laughs> This is gonna get real for a second. I just have really bad coping mechanisms. Oh, same. In that my coping mechanism is that I just don't think about things. But oh, I same. Think, but I think in this instance, it's it, it's actually helpful because if you think about it, none of this matters. Yeah. Like, none, we're, we're doing on this a, for fun. Yeah, it's We're just, not getting paid. Yeah, if like we were getting paid, this would be a different thing. Mm -hmm. But I just like don't care anymore. I cosplay for myself. Yeah. But mostly I do it for like the people who want to take pictures with me at cons because I think that's so cool, especially the kids. I do Raven from Teen Titans and I like actively made the choice to not paint myself gray for it and like I actively got brown tights so that her legs would be brown and not gray so it's not like I'm, I'm like I'm actively trying to stay brown mm -hmm. and the amount of little black kids that would come like come up to me at cons when I'm dressed as Raven and are so excited and want to take a picture with me and they just think it's the coolest thing ever and the amount of parents who are super excited to see me mm -hmm. and like make their kids take yeah. a picture with me it's just that's what I cosplay for I'm not cosplaying for other cosplayers honestly yeah I cosplay because I like making costumes yeah like I like sewing it's I like fun. it's so fun and it's fun to just like be and it's someone so else fun to day. just do it like I do it for like the friendship experience that I get from it because I've made a lot of really good friends from my cosplay. Mm -hmm. It's just fun and like the fact that people put like all the inherent prejudices that they have yeah. into it that sucks it's but like, like at the end of the day that was a phrase that I was trying to avoid using because it's such a reality tv show phrase but at the end at of the, the day, end of the day <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't. None of it matters. No. Like this isn't um, so I was at my friend's house, mm -hmm. and I met her little cousin, and her little cousin's, like, I think a mixed girl. Like, she's half black. I think my friend's boyfriend brought up the fact that I've just gotten back from a con, and, like, this girl's face, like, lit up. She's like, oh my god, you cosplay? I'm like, yeah, I cosplay. And she was so excited. It was so cute. And she's like, yeah, I, I want to cosplay Elle from Death Note, but, like, I got this really white foundation because I wanted to make myself lighter to look like him and I almost start I'm about to cry thinking about uh, this. I am too. I'm about to cry thinking about this because I was like how old is she? She was like 14, 15 like at the age where like you just discover anime and it's so cool mm. and Death Note's the best. I had like look this girl dead in the eye I'm like you do not have to lighten your skin tone for anybody. If you want to cosplay Elle you can cosplay Elle with your skin tone. If anybody has a problem with it that's their problem. When I was in uh, preschool, uh, I was Bubbles from Powerpuff Girls for <laughs> Halloween, and one of the other kids told me that I was too dark to be Bubbles. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I'm laughing. <laughs> oh my god, Delia. <laughs> so anyways, so anyway, <laughs> what we're trying to say is like, no matter like what color or size you are, if you have a character you really love and you want to make the costume or you want to buy the costume, like you, cosplay doesn't have to be like you completely make it, do it. Cosplay is an art form. You cosplay put is yourself an art form. into it. Like I cosplay so many anime girls who aren't my size, but now they are. <laughs> but now they are because I'm cosplaying them. The positive reception I get at conventions definitely is, outweighs is, it. It outweighs it so. Like obviously nobody's mean to our faces. Yeah. Well, um. <laughs> you cosplay for you. I know there's always a fear of you not being good enough. There's also this like habit of comparing yourself to other people yeah. who cosplay the same character. You don't have to do that. Like you can make a great friend if you're both cosplaying the same character because it means you both love that character enough mm -hmm. to dress up like them. But, um, <laughs> yes, the, uh, the moral of this story is cosplay because you want to cosplay. Cosplay is for everyone. There's a reason everyone. the word play is in it, and it's because it's fun. It's, it's supposed to be it's fun. It's fun. Make it fun. Keep it fun. Keep it sexy. <laughs> Don't, Don't get, get murdered. murdered. <laughs> and we end it there! <laughs>
Bye. <laughs>